All right, now it's time for the fun part, playing with the new M-Cube tools. Just before we carry on, there is three tools that we have not yet received that is still on the way here. We would have loved to show it to you today, but we are going to make use of our UK colleagues. So you'll see in between there will be three tools that people with a British accent is going to demonstrate to you. Okay, the first tool in the new range of M-Cube machines is our 125 millimeter grinder. Please remember, guys, that it is a 125 grinder, but you still can use the 115 discs on it. It is just a stronger machine. That's why we opted for the 125 with the versatility of the discs. One of the first things I noticed when I picked up this machine is the change in the trigger system. Where it used to be next to the handle and next to your locking, it is now a dead man's trigger. So all that you do is you squeeze your red trigger forward and you squeeze with your hand. The nice thing about this is if you should let go, the tool will automatically stop. Not like in the past where you drop the tool and the trigger is still active and it runs around mm, on the ground. Absolutely. Can I just demonstrate that to you guys? As Jason said previously, all batteries are interchangeable. It comes with your battery life indicator on it. That's your dead man switch. Very sure. nice. Derek, one thing I've just noticed mm. there now very quickly was the speed at which that stopped. Um, is that a feature of the actual tool? Or? Yeah, it it is one break, of the benefits yeah. and it is also a part of the battery management system. It's got a, it comes with a braking system. So in the past, uh, you had to either wait for the disc to stop or the guys put it down on the ground or sometimes even press it against a piece of material to stop it. Okay. So that is definitely one of the new benefits in the machine. It comes with a braking system. What the guys did in the past is if you put it down and the machine is still running, it used to draw in all of the dust around it. Okay. So it is, will definitely add to the life of your machine, the braking system in this. Fantastic. All right, then a few other features on the machine. It comes with a dust cover that is removable and replaceable. It's difficult with the gloves. Give me one second. <laughs> yeah. 10 thumbs there. <laughs> there we go, sorry. There we go. So it's just a removable filter that is easily replaceable. And that's just for extra safety? That's just for extra safety when it pulls in dust or it's just a, just a filter. Easily clean out with your compressor, just blow it off. Guys, just before I show you this next feature on this machine. Safety first. Safety first. There we go. You will notice that it does not come with a key anymore. So it's also beneficial in time saving, uh, removing and putting on discs. So you've got your normal locking switch in the back and then it easily removes. It's actually very yeah. handy. No, it saves you a lot of time. Uh. Saves you a lot of time. And nothing to get lost. Nothing to get lost. Yeah, I, don't, I, th I think it must be the most frustrating thing to get to site and you don't have that tool. And so yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. All right. And then along with that also, another thing that it, it does not have a tool Sorry, you're not the only tool, is that it, uh, Thanks, the guard <laughs> on this is movable also by a switch. So you can completely move it around along with the handle that you can either put on either of the side if you're left or right handed. Awesome. Okay. Derek, just one thing before you start. What I have noticed compared to our previous ranges is the angle of that battery. Um, sort of, yeah, a little bit different to it's the normal like ones. It's like a 45 degree mm. angle, yeah. Okay, well spotted. This is just not just for ergonomics or the look of the machine. So in the past, you had the same sort of size of battery, but it was angled at 90 degrees. So you could not grind at on a flat surface. You will see now that it is all in line. That's the reason for the angle of the battery. Makes absolute sense. So before you carry on, I can just see that handle looks way thicker and stronger than what we've got in our previous ranges. Is there a reason why? There's definitely a reason why. This is a lot softer than the previous one. Okay. And the main benefit from this is the anti-vibration handle. If you can imagine you work with it six or seven hours a day and the vibration on this yeah, is tremendous. Yeah. So that's the reason for the anti-vibration handle. On Brilliant. It. The last feature and with to do with the battery management system that we, uh, Jason talked about earlier, there's an LED light in the back. So when you use your machine and you exert too much force on your workpiece, it will start flashing red. Okay. If you keep on exerting too much force, it will turn red and the machine will shut itself off. Awesome. Right. Sure, that's a nice safety mechanism. It's a nice safety mechanism, so it will sh the longevity of your machine will extend, cost saving for you. I think it's a brilliant feature. I've been playing around with this. This is really a fantastic piece of equipment. This is really good. 
Do you guys mind if I show you how this function works? Please do. Put on the battery, some eyes please. So I will start off by just applying some normal pressure and I'll start increasing the pressure. You will notice the light flashing and then I will continue forcing the machine and then you will see the right light uh, constantly staying on. I want to see it switch off. Wow. Job done. Does it start again instantly as soon as you've done it or Can does I it need to cool down? Let me do it one time again. One time again. It, um, normal pressure, that is really the amount of force that I need to exert on that is, is, is a lot. So just one more time. That's normal pressure. And if I yeah, that no, definitely works. Awesome. And then the machine protects itself, it switches off. Fantastic. Good Fantastic job. Fantastic benefit. Very, very nice tool. All right. Awesome. Any other questions? I'm good. I'm Thank good. Thank you. Good. Good. Great stuff. Thanks, Derek. Um, you know, I think in the environment that we're in now, you know, being in a studio and a boots and all environment, I'd always like to say, but on the other hand, Derek. Yes, there we go. Let's show you what we've got in terms of a nice little drill set for you there. Right. So what we have got over here now is our ABS 18 Compact. This is the smallest drill that we've got in the range. All right. Starting off with the battery side of things, exactly the same. You saw me take the same battery from the grinder, all fits into it. Um, indicator on it tells you how full the battery is. Um, I'm going to show you a little indicator over here. You've got the LED light, uh, which is brilliant for the workplaces. A lot of torches have got it, but it tends to shine in all different directions. This one shines perfectly onto the workpiece that you're actually using, which is phenomenal. You'll notice with the tool, rubber handles, sort of rubber bumpers all around the actual tool, which is brilliant for grip, but also should the tool fall. Okay, it just gives it that little Extra bit of protection. protection. Yeah. Absolutely. Then obviously we've got the standard left, right motion. Coming to the top of the tool, we've got two speeds. All right, we've obviously got one being your slower speed and then moving to slightly higher speed as well. Sounds okay. powerful. Absolutely, absolutely. And talking of the power, um, we've got 24 settings on the tool, which is for your torque side of things, okay? Um, absolutely brilliant, run all the way through the torque, it gives you a static setting as well, that's for your drilling and stuff. Um, all metal chuck, which has obviously got your carbide tips in it. Um, and this little guy, although it's small, is perfect for that medium work. You know, for drilling uh, into your woods uh, up to 20 mil, going into metal 13 mil but particularly brilliant for the screwing in of screws. It's absolutely brilliant. So um, what you're saying is size doesn't matter? Size doesn't matter in this case, Derek, unfortunately. But yeah, um, so how we go about it now is I just want to do a quick demonstration for you guys. I've got a couple of spade bits that I'd like to actually use here as well. So just before you do that demo, yes. you mentioned something about tungsten tips. Okay, I'm glad you are. So basically what the tungsten tip is going to do is when I actually insert this wood spade bit, it makes sure that we get a really good hold on it. Okay. Unlike a lot of other tools in the market, it's a steel jaw, which tends to wear down. All right. So the carbide is very, very strong. Prevent slippage over there. Absolutely. All and right. The longer life physically for holding. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do for you now is just show you with this wood spade bit here, just how powerful this little guy is. Okay. Um, we'll basically start it off. I've got it in sort of the top torque setting and let's see what it does. Because that went through with no problem. Honestly, I mean, that on its own for a tool of that size is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely brilliant. So, uh, yeah, that's sort of running to the max that you're going to go through on wood is a 20 mil side of things. But what I'd like to show you um, is just the drilling capacity of these, uh, these little guys. So let's change over. We've got a couple of bits over here. Sorrel is that other bit there for me. Let's go with one of those long ones. Sorry, Jay, while he's busy there, I don't know if you did mention, has this one got a um, hammer action in it? There's no hammer action on this one. So we stay away from concrete with this, all right? We do have the power combi, which you'll see a little bit uh, down the line. As we said over there, our English colleagues will uh, present it in the best English language they have. And let me show you just on the drilling aspect of this. Right, so I think sort of the benefit for the guys, the customers using it, like I said, with the screwing in aspect of things, okay? And this is where this torque setting is so good, all right? 
I can actually now take a screw and put it in at whatever level I want it to go in. Okay, so let's have a look here. I'm gonna run it on a, let's run it on a 11. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that gives you a nice little drill into the surface, just slightly, slightly below the surface, flush, yeah. slightly. which is absolutely brilliant. Let's take it back two notches. Let's see what it does. So the same screw, just two notches back absolutely. on the gearbox. Absolutely. Okay. We've got a Here nice we go. flush, flush. flush screw in the surface over there. So absolutely brilliant. You know, and again, what's nice with this, I, I don't know if you've realized, is the actual trigger itself. Okay, it's a variable speed. So it's nice, I can control it going into the piece of wood. And then obviously speed it up as I need it. Okay. Do me a so favor again, before you take that out. Yes. Let's just pop in one of those. I want to see what absolutely. power you've got. Let's grab that. There we go. Let's see if this can go right through. Right. I'm saying the machine is so tough. This little machine, as I say, I've been playing around with it and definitely going to get me one of these. So here's a six millimeter. Right. So this is a six, six by hundred, eh? That's a six by hundred. So let's not play around with this little guy. 60 Newton meters. Let's see what it can give us. Straight through. That's sure. pretty damn impressive. That's good. Okay. So yeah, there we go. I mean, that's the little compact. Now we are going to see what's going to happen with the power combi. Phenomenal tool. Absolutely brilliant. Nice compact kit. Now I can buy one of those and that. Run it with the same battery. Fantastic system. Awesome stuff. Mm. Good Great. stuff. I must actually say, I think that the screws are also helping a little bit here. So uh, without any further ado, let's, let's look at the ASCIs. So as you guys know that the ASCIs is being launched, obviously, also in March. Um, what we've done is we've brought in three ranges, which is the ASCII Plus, then the ASCII Full Thread, and then Half a Thread. Um, I'm going to show you quickly, and then obviously, let me just show you a quick thing, if I can grab one here, is your ASCII Plus. What makes this a little bit different, what makes this a little bit different, it's got a self-centering drilling tip, which gives you that, uh, where you can drill into the steel and then physically into the wood. And then you've got your wood screw, which is obviously, this is a, a then you've got your full and non uh, full threaded and half threaded um, with your normal normal heel tip uh, heel tip point, and that is just for your normal wood. All of these assays now will be steel zinc plated. They are going to be silver in color. Okay, but that's also nice. I mean, if I if I look at it and think about the woodworking aspect of things, you always want to have a nice screw head anyway. That's it. You this know, which looks, would be phenomenal. This looks awesome. You don't have to have a capping on. It's really great. What's also nice about what we are doing is the new drive. So the drives that we are using is going to be an R W drive. Now the A W drives was the previous ones, and people don't be scared if your if your clients has invested in the SE3 range, which came with an AW drive, it still works on the new SE4. Okay, what we've done in South Africa, the, the sizes that we brought in was a 3.5 up into a five mil, that will use an AW20, a RW20 drive, sorry, and then a six millimeter will use an RW40 drive. 90% um, of our range will be between the 3.5 uh, and the five mil, so, there we go. So if I, if I understood that right though, Sorrel, is, is basically though, if the customers have invested in the AW drive, they can still use that bit still, though. It will okay. still, yeah. So what makes this different? Why then change? You've got a little bit more extra, as you can see within, within the graphs in the back here, it's a little bit more angled, give you a little bit more torque towards the drive where your AW will give you like a 95% torque where this will give you a full hundred because it's a perfect match. Perfect fit. That's, That's it. it. That's which it. ones did we use? You say there's two different ones, one for a uh, self-drilling tip, tip and a normal one. So what, which one did we use there? We've used the self-drilling tip at the moment here. Um, it's no pre-drilling involved if you want to ask that, if you want to go through a light piece of steel. It's self-centered, it does that, and that's why it's an IC+. Stunning. Well, let me tell you what, those things go through there like nothing. So, awesome. phenomenal screw with a phenomenal tool. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, right, I think uh, from that aspect over there, we're going to hand over to those wonderful English gentlemen uh, from the UK, and they're going to explain the next couple of tools that we have for you guys. Check these videos, check these demos, absolutely phenomenal. Now, 
for those of you who do have a little bit more heavy duty drilling to do, okay, we're now stepping up to the power. So in terms of size-wise compared to the compacts, okay, if I put them side by side, yeah, you can see there, you can see the size difference. So we've got a much bigger motor now coming into here, and we're actually more than doubling the newton meter power now. Wow, which is crazy. So this is actually stepping up to 140 newton meters, which is an insane amount of power. And when you do step up to that height, okay, um, we actually do include in the box with this one, you do get your additional handle uh, that gives you, so it, so the drill's less like to spin. It gives you more control, okay? Right. So two-speed select switch again. Uh, you've got 23 gears plus drilling, full metal chuck, carbide tips, easy select switches, four and five amp power batteries with this, definitely because I feel like the people who are going to be using this are going to be drilling a hell of a lot of stuff, mm. all right? But in terms of power output, um, I haven't seen anything higher than, than 140 without stepping up to things like impact drills and heavy duty stuff. So for this, I think this is basically stepping up for that customer who needs, needs that little bit of extra force, yeah, who needs that extra torque. It is a beast, I have to admit. And I'm not sure if you can hear the motor, but let's see, let's put the spectre off. It does sound nice, I have to admit. I really did like this one. It's packing a bit of power there, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. When I was using this, I definitely had to put the extra handle on when I stepped up to speed setting one to get that that, that, that additional torque because <laughs> first time I did it without, it literally did almost break my wrist. It just went <laughs> straight round and I couldn't control it. So it really was a beast. RPM wise, uh, speed setting two, sorry, one, uh, 550 RPM. Speed setting two, we're getting up to 2,000 RPM. Wow. So yeah, real beast, crazy on that one. And I know we're also in wood on this off, off the top of my head, this will go up to 100 mil holes in wood and that's recommended. So that is a pretty beast of a hole from a combi drill. Wow. So, yeah. And then finally, what we've also got, so we've gone through our, um, we've, got, we've got the basic, we've got the compact, we've got the power. And then what we've also got is the combi, okay? So differences here, this is exactly the same in terms of performance as the power, okay? Our only difference is the fact we have a select switch here that, that's, that's gonna go from drilling to screwing to hammer drilling as well. So this has a hammer drill function. What I really liked is this selector switch was you could not accidentally turn this. Mm. Whereas on some of the competition, when you're twisting the gears, okay, the actual um, mode selector is directly behind them. So when I was changing the gears, I'd find the modes would sometimes accidentally get switched as well. So with this, there's no way you're going to accidentally flick it onto a new setting when changing the gears. And you can get this, it from both sides there as well, I see. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yep. Yeah, so it's on this side and it's on that side as well. So really easy to access and change. Again, all brushless motors in there. Also, we're stepping up in gearbox size. So now we've got a 24 speed gearbox. So again, more flexibility more adjustments. Overall, this has definitely been my favorite tool so far. Mm. Super loads of power. Uh, we've had loads of fun with this. It's got all the functions in it you could want. And with that 140 Newton meters of, 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 of torque behind it, 2000 RPM, man, seriously, this was really, really good. I really enjoyed this one. So it's a great all rounder, that one. It is a great all rounder, yeah. So, I mean, it's all well and good me um, talking about them, but I think we probably should really show them off now. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, I have got a challenge for you, Adam. Okay. Okay. So in terms of, of our testing, we have done some competitive testing that I did get Adam to do previously during the week with some competition. Okay. So if you just want to switch to the main camera, Adam, that's it. We'll go to that one. And if we take the other scenes off, perfect. Okay. So what I've got for you, if you just want to help me down here, we'll bring this up. So we have set up a little bit of an obstacle course here for you to do, okay? Yeah. You already know what, what, what it is you've got to do, but let's explain to the guys watching at home, okay? So what we've set up is this obstacle course. We've got three challenges, okay, for to, to, to put our combi drill through, which we did with our competitors. Now, the competitors we used, we, comp we compared ours with the DeWalt combi, Makita, and Milwaukee. So this is our target market in terms of what we're going to go after. So what I've got here, I've got 10 70 mil dry line screws. So let's just tilt that forwards. You'll see them in there. So I've got 10 to undo, nice tightly in. They've been embedded in quite deep. Okay, the next challenge 
is you're going to be drilling four holes through the front here. And with that, we're going to be using some heavy duty. We've got a 16 mil auger bit. We've got an 18 mil auger bit. We've got a 22 mil auger bit. And then just to really put it through its paces, we're also going to go up to a 26 mil auger bit. So quite a chunky piece of, uh, of, of drill bit there to get through. So the wood we're using is fence post, and this is roughly two and a half, three inch thick. So it's quite thick stuff, quite solid stuff to be using. And then final challenge, which is going to be the real test, okay, is actually the driving. All right. So I've got an eight mil lag screw hex head that, I'm, that you're going to be driving in uh, blind. Okay. So there's no pilot hole drill or anything. So you're going to go straight in. We then got the same with a 10 mil. And then finally go up to the big boy, which is your 12 mil, which is, I'm not expecting it to do that, but we'll see how it goes. That is a hell of a screw. That, that is a big one. All right. So if we pop this in, in the vice, okay. So whilst we do that, uh, what I've also got to show you is a video of, of our competitors doing this. So we'll watch that first. We'll then come back and then we'll see how Adam fares in, in, in doing our challenge. Okay, so there we go. You just saw our, our competitors go through our obstacle course. Uh, and as you saw, you know, did all right. Some of them didn't even make it through the 26 mil auger bit. Uh, but when we got up to the lag screws, none of them were able to get onto our top 12 mil here. So that's going to be the challenge. Uh, the time is going to be two minutes 30 to beat Adam. You feeling up for it? Yeah. yeah okay, go. cool. So we've got some PPE. Let's get some goggles and uh, gloves on just to make sure we're keeping ourselves safe. I've got my stopwatch ready here on my phone, so we'll see that reset to zero. So obviously we're going to do this live and see if you can beat it. No pressure at all. None at all. Okay, so here we go. We've got a combi bit. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, feeling good? Feeling yeah, ready? Feeling good? Okay, so ready? In three, two, one, go. So on to the other bits now. Mil. This is where some of the competition struggles. And 
Bruce. Looking good. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, that's Okay, starting to get, ooh, leap back, move on. Ooh, it's getting close. Wow. That might be it, there you goes. That's it. I think that's it. There. How do you think you did? It felt good, actually. It felt really good. Yeah? Let us know. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you to you guys first. So two minutes, nine we got. So absolutely blitzed it, mate. Well done. Very happy with that. That is a lovely machine to use. Yeah, so how did that feel compared to the, to the competitors? You can really feel the torque. Uh, I'm not being biased here at all. Uh, my first experience with some of these tools, but you can really feel the difference using, uh, using the Worth Combi there. Yeah, I think I definitely really noticed the difference when we got up to the, the torque, when we got up to these lag screws. So it might not have finished them completely, but I think compared to the competitors, it, there was a real difference there. I was quite amazed when we got up to that top one, just how far in that, that was able to go. I mean, when we do get up to this kind of size, really you'd be using a impact driver. Yeah. But to be able to do that just from that, I mean, yeah, I've been blown away by it so far. So really happy with that. So not everyone obviously is going to be using it for wood application. There's going to be some of the metal boys out there. So we do have another video prep for you to watch. So take a look at this. So there you have it guys, what you just saw there, we basically done some previous tests with our competition and our combi drill to see how many uh, pious wingtip screws we could drill into that two by four and six mil box section within a minute. Okay, we came out pretty well. And then following after that, we then saw how many holes we could just drill straight into that box section uh, using a six mil uh, 0624 HSS separate drill bit. And each drill, I will just say, had a fresh drill bit inside. So it was completely unbiased on that one. Compact amateur. Let's just bring that down, get a bit of picture of that. Oh, nice, I like that. There it is there. Let's get a better shot. Yeah, let's bring up the PowerPoint as well. There we go. So remembering our, our brushless motor and the EC protection, we've still got those as well, the LED lights. But this year, first thing you put points out to me, well, the first thing that stands out is our modes. So easy to change modes. I've got a, a chisel bit in there at the moment. So you can see it at the end. There's actually a little mode here in between our hammer, our hammer drill, and also our drill bit, just to allow us adjust the chisel bit. Ah, uh, okay, so that, so that loosens it, allowing you to twist. Yeah, otherwise that would be locked into place. So we can get that into the perfect position there. Yeah. Lock that back in. And there we go, that won't move. So that's locked in place at that point. Just allows those finer adjustments so you can get a nice comfortable working action. Yeah. This here is actually so easy to uh, to remove your SDS bit as well. A simple twist to unlock it. That bit comes out. I'll pop in a new bit I've got over here. Well, that's it. It's just a twist. Simple as that. Push that in, twist that, and that's locked in. Oh, wow. Okay. You can feel that stuck there as well. Not only the normal standard SDS mount you've got, I pull the red collar, pull that out. Quick, easy release. Again, that's so simple. 
and also comes with our full metal chuck that Craig's talked about us before. Pop that in there. Has that got the carbide tips in it as well? Carbide tips in the end as well. That's nice. locked into place. Really easy to change in between the two. I actually can't believe how quick that is to change those heads. It's so good. Yeah. Do you want to have a go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's so just pull back on the pull back on the red car. That one comes Jesus. out. Jesus. Pull the red collar in. Yes. And we're locked into place. Wow. Okay. Easy as that. that. It's really easy. It, it is brilliant. Uh, when you're using these tools and using them all day long, you can get a lot of vibrations, a lot of impact. It does take its toll, a bit of, bit of fatigue. Yeah. Uh, so to, to help us out with that, we've got a lovely rubber handle, just anti-vibration, take okay. out some of that impact. Yeah. We also, if you guys can see that in here, we actually built in an anti-vibration system into the actual handle here as well. So you can see that kind of compressing. Ah, so that's like a dampener almost. So from all those vibrations that are translating from the tool to the handle, it, it softens that down? Absolutely, that's, that's your shock absorber right there. Yeah, so you can work on these tools a lot longer, a lot less fatigue, better for you. Nice, nice. I also noticed on the handle, is that is that a depth stop as well you've got on that? We do, just on the other side here. Uh, it normally comes with a rod as well. I've taken that out just to make it a bit cleaner, but really big, easy to, uh, to access and to adjust. Uh, I tell you what I like about that because others I've used in, in, in the past tend to be like a, a bolt. So you have to continuously like wind it up, unwind it to adjust your depth. Even small ones that are really tight and, and hard to find with, with, with one finger or one hand and, and to, to adjust easily. That yeah. one there, really simple to grab, really easy to adjust. Nice. So I'm hoping you're going to be able to show us this in action because I really want to see this work. Shall we have a play? Yeah. What have you got? Let's get a, uh, a bit of a mat down there for us. I've got a... Uh, Concrete block we've prepared earlier. Okay. So shall I help you out there? Yeah, you set it up for us there, Craig. So if I go around here this way so the guys can see on the camera, then... Okay. Are you just going to go in sideways, are you? Yeah, yeah. Let's remove that little PowerPoint bit there so the guys can see a bit better. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Is that, do you want me to stand behind them and hold it for you? Go on then, Craig. We'll yeah. move around there. You jump in there. There we go. Okay. Nice. How's that? Yeah, you made, made a mess on my table though, but... It is It is a little bit messy there, it is. Um, we do have something to help out with that though, actually. Okay. If you want to pass me that little uh, attachment over there. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, I've been hiding that from you, something to, uh, to pull out. This is our du dust extractor attachment. So if you guys can see that there as well, I'll, uh, I'll attach. And it's simple as this as well. I'm just going to slide this into the back, line so that, that up. Slides on. Okay, I know, I, I know where this is going. You heard the click there, that's all connected. Yeah, I see. Uh, on this, just to point out as well, we've got uh, a little adjustment, so you can make sure that your drill tip is lined up or just at the end there, that's perfect. And also have a, on this side over here, a depth stop as well, so we can slide that down, make sure we're not going in too far into our material. Okay. And uh, let's have a look, Craig, I'm gonna get you to flip that mat over, let's use a nice clean side of it. Okay, because yeah, you can see the dirt on there. Inside. And let's see how this turns out. Okay. I'm hoping this is going to be a lot cleaner now. Right? Fingers crossed, Craig. We're live here. <laughs> Jeez, just, uh... So the vacuum gets. So so does the vacuum run off the same battery so as the SDS? Same battery for one. It's just locked in, connected together. So it's only the one battery you need for both of these. We heard the vacuum there, just doing its work. I can't believe that. I really can't ever. Just pull that a bit closer. You can see there, guys. It's like no mess, even even behind on on the out hole. That's so handy to use. Nice, clean working. I'm just thinking if you're going into like you know someone's house or in an area like like an office building to be doing work, and you know you don't want to make a lot of mess. That's such a good attachment to have. You'd rather spend your time doing the work than doing the cleanup. Yeah, no one likes to clean up, do they? Not at all. Having said that, I'll leave you with that. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Awesome. So that's our that's our hammer drill. That's our compact hammer drill. Nice. So Craig, if you don't mind moving the hammer drill for us. Yeah, sure, no problem. I'll put that back here. I've got uh, one more product to show you, which I think you're gonna like. What have we got? Over here, we have our uh, cattle insemination gun. Hey. Oh, I meant I always get that wrong. It's the Corking applicator gun. Wow, okay. So if you can zoom, zoom on out that. there for us. Yeah. Show the guys at home what we're looking at. Okay, yeah, I'll zoom in a little bit for us as well. 
And if you think about all those silicon and sealant jobs, trying to get a nice, smooth, consistent bead while constantly having to pump that trigger, those days are gone. <laughs> okay, we've got this bad boy here to help us out with that. We've got a really robust full metal gearbox behind it. That's good, because I know in the past I've seen some people, theirs, theirs are like nylon um, gears. So these are full metal. Full metal. Nice, that's good. Yep. Not only do we have the progressive trigger that you've mentioned before, we yep. also have our speed adjustment on the side here. So how many's on there? You've got one, two, three, six speeds. Six speeds. You can actually almost do like a little half clicks in between as well. Okay. So it's quite flexible. Quite flexible. You can really narrow it down to your level of, uh, of pace of work or your expertise, <laughs> yeah, yeah. as we'll see in a moment. Uh, these cartridges, they take anything from our standard 310 cartridges. There's one I prepared earlier. Throws yeah. there. And anything from a 400 up to a 600 mil sausage or bag as well. Yeah, I noticed that on the the handle on top as well you've actually got so i see so it actually tells you how far in to put the handle dependent on what length uh, yeah. you're using so you don't have to sit there and, and, and put the gun all the way out to put a tube in you can actually manually adjust that you can slide that down that's ready to take the uh, the cartridge then one of my favorite things about this though i'll move that out of the way so the guys can see this and, and have a listen i'm gonna i'm gonna fire the trigger and, uh, and, and see what you hear okay so it's like it's it sounds like it's going, even though you've let go of the trigger, it's still moving. Yeah, we're, we're, we're still going there. That's actually the automatic decoupling. Ah, so, so it's like backing off. So once you've let go of the trigger, it's automatically backing off for you. Spot on precisely. So we're not going to have any, any excess running or dripping. You're not going to be wasting your product. And again, like we both know how we don't like cleaning up. So hopefully we're going to avoid that. So, <laughs> okay. I'm going to pop in a, a tube of silicon we've got here and we'll give this a little bit of a test. So you so, can normal silicon cartridges and the sausages as well yep either ones we've got the adapter on there which you can uh, you can use for your sausages i'm going to take yeah. that off and we're going to put the uh normal silicon tube in there like yeah. that I'll so, slide that so in. also just quickly then so that means you don't just have to use this with silicon you could also use it with any well any standard tube i'm guessing a sausage so adhesive so even in the automotive world even things like windscreen replacement um, bond and seal, things like that, it will still take those cartridges? Absolutely, yeah. Even your really thick adhesives as well, it's got loads of pressing power behind it as well, so that'll be uh, light work with this machine. Fair enough, fair enough. And do you know roughly how much pushing power it's got? I do indeed, it's got five <laughs> kilonewtons of pressing force, Greg. That's pretty good. That, 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 that is quite a hefty amount. So I know from I know when you told me about it, so I haven't seen this go being used yet, but when, what you told me in the past is actually on the figure stuff, it didn't have any issues pushing that out. No trouble. I've just got a normal silicon in there for the moment, so we'll yeah. use that. But uh, yeah, I just want to show the guys at home how this how this Is this works. the smelly sealant? This is gonna. This is an acetate. So the guys so have done like something. salt and vinegar chips. Salt and vinegar chips, my favourite kind. Oh, I can't stand that stuff. <laughs> I'll let you okay. stand over there, Craig. And so I'll, I'll tell you what. Let me let me let me just forward this slide one second, just so we can get the detail. There we go. Okay, so universal use. Yeah, high application power. Yeah, metal gearbox, like you said, ticking all the boxes. And okay, yeah, it's got a bit of press and force and things like that. Okay, so let's take that off just so we can see a bit better. So if I adjust the camera, we've got a nice bit of, a, go. bit of paper out there we're going to use. So what, what setting are we going to be starting on? I'm going to start off really slow, just get a nice controlled look at it, and then we'll ramp up the speed and see, uh, see what happens. Okay. So let's have a little look. Here. I'm not going to need to put like an apron on, am I? Uh, You've had that top for a while, haven't you? Okay, I'll stand <laughs> back. So that is super slow right now. Super slow, it's still lining itself up in there. So I'm, I'm assuming this is now, having it go in this slow, I suppose that's when it's doing the really fine detail. Absolutely, if you're doing really intricate, small work there. So I can see if I hold that up, that is actually going in. If you keep the trigger held and show to the camera, as you can see that's barely moving. Really, really slow. Exactly. Really fine. So I suppose right now it's trying to push the sealant out because obviously we haven't probably hit the tube yet, have, have we? Probably not just there, just about. I might ramp up the speed just so we can uh, actually see a bit of action happening here. There we go, heard it pop. There, there we go, I think we're getting there now. Hear the decoupling, every time I let go of the trigger, that decouples. And now hopefully we're gonna actually have some silicon come out on this, uh, on this paper here. I suppose because it's going so slow, it takes a while for it to Unless you ramp it up. It's got to push it all the way to the end of the nozzle there. Yeah. So that's just actually showing how slow that is. So yeah, you, you can be really precise with that. There we go. Finally, there we go. So a nice, smooth, even, consistent bead. 
coming out of that, I'll let go. And that stops right there. Nothing excess, no extra dripping, nothing else is coming out there. Perfect. I'm going to uh, crank up the speed now. And, we're up uh, to you now? now I'm, going, I'm going the whole way. Let's go yeah, the whole six. way. Let's go, let's go to six, see what happens. Oh, Jesus, okay. So, well, you guys at home, um, I'm going to start back on as well. I feel like it's going to go everywhere. So, here, here goes nothing. Took a little bit of getting used to, but depending on what speed you want to work at. And then you get, even at top speed there, I've let go of the trigger. You can see the nozzle there. We've got absolute bare minimal coming out there. So even working at that speed, we're not going to get any uh, dripping or wastage. So less wastage. There you go. That's our cattle. No, no, that's the corking <laughs> applicator gun. I love it. I love it. That's great. That's such a useful tool. I could definitely see that, you know, being used in all in industries, metal, wood and auto. Guys, thank you for taking the time to look at our UK colleagues there. Um, as you can agree, there's a couple of nice tools still coming in. They are on the way. And uh, now that you guys have made a mess on this table, surely it needs to be cleaned up. So this is why I'm introducing the Worth vacuum cleaner. Derek, please pass me that battery. You can use the same one or the one that's on the drill. Yeah, give me the same ones and we can just show. So this is, once again, as we said, each battery's got its own uh, power, power, ins power uh, indicator. indicator, indicator, very straightforward. Just slot the battery in, and there we go. Sure. Tool is working. We've got two settings. We've got a retractable hose that can go up to two and a half meters. Jeez, that you can use this for, and then. Wow, that's pretty powerful for such a small machine. This is only. So this is only once again to, to just bring everything back in perspective, an 18 volt system. And it's pushing out 350 watts of sucking power. Sure. So what I notice on there when you switch it on now, there's an eco and a max setting on there. That's it. Okay. Thanks for asking. So the eco and the max setting is here physically just to save you time on battery. So this will give you a longer running time. The suction is roughly the same. You're losing about maybe 10% on suction, but it is roughly the same. And then your max is your ultimate that you need uh, just to make sure that you can get in hard and nook and crook places and get that on. And to show that, look at these nice little hiding spots. Sure. So here's where they've got your little attachments. It comes with actually three because there's one attached on this. And this gives you just the versatility to get into those very, very tight spots. What is the other attachment in your hand for? This is now, let's go for argument's sake when you're on site. Okay, when you're, when you're on site and you've got a, a sand of some sort or a, uh, a circle saw and you do not want to make a mess on your client's floor. This just pops in over here, fits into most of the extraction resources. This gets switched on and because this is so lightweight, pop this on your shoulder, you're going up there, you grind, you cut, you do whatever you do, it's switched on, you've got no mess. And you don't have to hold on to that because that is plugged that's into your machine. That's already plugged into your machine. So right. there we go. I think what I like about this whole system too, with it all being on the 18 volt system, I mean, you go into a place where there's no power or maybe you don't want to utilize the guy's power, you've got everything there. That's Drilling, it. Drilling, cutting, cleaning, what a pleasure. That's it. But listen, I've noticed there's a couple of buttons here. What are these? Okay. Yes. So the first button that you've got over here is your release button. So that release, now that's there for a reason. Let me explain to you guys why. This is called a multifunctional machine. Because it can obviously suck, as you guys have seen. And then it can also blow. So this is a filtering system over here. Obviously, when it's not in use, you've got your, when it's sucking, you've got your filter, and you need to get uh, some fresh air in there. This just pops into that. Switch it on. And now you've got a blow. Oh, function. that's brilliant. Okay. Obviously, if you want to give it a little bit more oomph, just pop your, pop your bits on, give it a bit more centralized, and you've got nice. the thing running. Very, very nice. I want to show you guys something. So when you're, now, when you're now in a spot and you're sitting in someone's house and you can't go and clean your filtering system, which I will explain in a couple of seconds, you can have a quick clean. So what is a quick clean? So now the filter gets clogged up, and you would like to just release some of that extra, that extra dust that's sitting on there while your machine is on, you tap the button. So what it does is actually makes a vacuum, leaves a vacuum, makes a vacuum, and it drops all the sawdust. Nice. So you've got that instant that you can carry on again. Then when you go outside and you've got your spaces, that's where you clean your actual machine. 
So what you're saying is there's actually two filters or there's two collection areas on this thing. Um, I'm going to show you quickly. So there is, it's a two filter system. Daddy, can you just help me on that side? Just pull this off. Okay. So this over here is a reusable filter uh, that you physically clean with a... Uh, compressor. Clean with a compressor. Very, very simple and straightforward. There we go. I'm not going to take it out completely. It's quite clean. And then here is your non-reusable filtering uh, um, dust collection bag. Okay. I'm going to quickly show you guys how to fit this. Now, this cannot be reused. It's a little bit tricky. You've got your holes on the side. You pop that in just to give it a bit of a guide. And it's surely fuss. Tilt your machine around. Make sure the bag is in. Wow, and there you go. That's simple. It's all done. So there we go. Very, very nice. The Worth Vacuum Machine. Fantastic. A complete system, which I think is absolutely brilliant. All in a box. Stunning. There Stunning. We go. Right, so um, one thing that I think we need to just have a look at very, very quickly. Um, thanks, Derek, is sort of obviously on the warranty aspect of things. Um, and I think this is always a big question that everybody asks us is what is the warranty in these tools? Okay. That's it. Do and we back this up? Absolutely. And the thing is, is what we're having or what we're offering on this year is we've got a two year warranty on the tool. Okay. And a two year warranty on the battery. All okay, right. Which Fantastic. Is two years on the battery. Two years on the battery. Okay. Obviously with that new BMS, BMS, sorry, or battery management system. The tools, the batteries look after themselves. Okay, so we've got to have that scenario there. Yeah, we've obviously just got to be, you know, sensible in how the customers utilize the tool, but it's phenomenal. They're robust, ready to go out there. So love that two guarantee years on both guys. So very, very love good. That. Awesome. So just coming to the end of where we are, um, I think it's uh, it's very apt to say that this is a very, very exciting uh, campaign for us. And this is something that's been carried across the world. Um, there's so many people who've been involved in this from right from the developing right the way to the top. Um, and I think just to put it into perspective, you know, and I think every time I see this video too, like we all say, we all really get, you know, really quite passionate, uh, yeah, no, passionate about it. Absolutely. So I'm going to kick over to that and uh, guys enjoy selling this tool. It's absolutely phenomenal. Awesome guys. Brilliant. Thank Thanks, you. Jason. Das Teil ist fertig und ist richtig gut. Was machen wir? Das Ding müssen wir testen. Vertrieb, Geschäftsführung, Konzernführung, Familie, wir alle. Erst dann kann es raus. Das Problem ist, das einzige Exemplar, das wir haben, ist in der Ausstellung. In der Ausstellung? Im Museum. Im Museum? Ich kümmere mich drum. Persönlich. <lacht> Das Ding. Jetzt seid ihr dran. Klasse, das kann zum Chef ins Auto. Da 
Tag, der so. Ah, ich hab schon. <lacht> Dann stellen wir weiter machen.